Hello, all of you big, gloriously wonderful people, and welcome back to Timberborn. So, I didn't want to spend a whole lot of time just tinkering about in my other copy of these saves, and I couldn't find any information online about how the Timber Shack works. On the day I'm playing this, recording these, the update's only been out maybe 36 hours. Uh, so the wiki hasn't been updated. I don't see anybody with YouTube videos on it, so... What I've done is my theory is that if the trees are being cut, then they can't be tapped at the same time. So right by the tapper shack, I have dezoned an area for cutting just to see if that doesn't give us what we're looking for. Uh, same thing over here by the pine trees that gets pine resin. So it will take a little while for these trees to grow. Uh, but as you can see, we still have nothing there. It, it, we haven't had a lot of time really transpire between there, uh, the last couple videos here. So I want to expand housing and I'm trying to look at this and see, is there a way we can expand here? And I don't really think we're gonna get much out of this area simply because our way up is fairly limited. I mean, I could easily get another row up here, but I really don't want to block our monument anyway. So I think instead we're just going to focus on housing over here uh, and try to get it like right here in this dry area. And I'm going to try to just build up just almost immediately. So I'm thinking like right, right along here is all going to be shoes why'd you go donk oh it's because there's stuff in the way it's a good reason for you to go donk uh so we need to go in here and mark some resources for demolition there we go yeah i'm just gonna try to get this as tall as i can just as quick as i can and and see if we can't get ourselves uh, a nice big tall apartment block that only takes up a few squares and then we can have all kinds of production nearby exciting uh sad thing is they're getting all that done before i can get this done there we go uh so we're gonna wind up with a, ha a beaver boom here there we go okay so, <clears throat> excuse me so what i'm thinking is and I knew there would be a gap there because I want to bring stairs in here, a single platform, and then, okay. Oop, 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 oop. Come in. There we go. And I want to run platforms all the way down here. Okay, we're going to have to mark those. And I believe I had to get rid of these as well over here. Yeah. Pretty sure I did. I can't remember though now. Okay, cool. So uh, we're gonna need that there. We're gonna need a row here, but I think these are gonna wind up being taller. Can't remember exactly how I did this before. Oh, I do want a set right of stairs right there. See if we can catch that before the end of the workday. Nope, nope. There's, yes, we can. Well, no, they're kind of staring at it. Well, maybe not. Are we working or not? It looks like we're working. We are definitely working. It is morning. I guess now they're asleep. They go to sleep right before dawn. Sleep six hours and then get up. Is that what's happening? We got Ann Beaver running around over there. There's just one. Come on, fellas. Get that cut down for me, please. Right here. There you go. Good job, friend. And then we'll put it stairs there just so they have an extra way up. And then we are going to do platforms. And then we're going to come through with another row of housing. And it doesn't matter what side the doors are on because we're alternating. Uh, Entrance that side, entrance this side, so front and back instead of left and right. Uh, I think it'll be a 
good way to do this. I hope it'll be a good way to do this. And that's also why we have a couple different ways up and down uh, just to facilitate that movement. I think it'll be helpful. And then here, I think I want to go ahead and go up. No, I want to go up here. And then here I want a regular one. Was that how I I'm trying to remember how I did this before when I uh, tested this out? Pretty sure it was like this. Yeah, this is this is it. There we go. This, this is this is the stuff right here. Cool. And then we build some stairs right there. And they can get around that corner. And then we can have another row of housing on top. We're just going to do maybe four high here. I think that'll be sufficient for now. Oops. So we've got somebody saying, hey, we can't reach our houses. Why is that? It's because we need to now come in and put paths on top of all that. Just like that. And that will solve that problem. And we'll just go ahead and do it all the way down to there. And then back here, we need to get... Now, let's get this bit built first here. We're going to have such a huge beaver boom before I'm ready for it. Because uh, I'm going to replace these berries with crops. I'm going to try to get some planting done up here. Um, my hope is that this district will just continue right here no problem now that we've got that that is a very limited access we'll have to put well we've got stairs there we can put some stairs there too uh where do we turn red down here it's pretty red already I'm not sure that i'm gonna be able to get anything up here but i thought man it'd be nice to take advantage of this being fertile up here maybe for some more timber uh, these guys are flooded, so they're going to die out. That's sad. I wish I could get somebody there to just cut that down and use the wood. Because we're burning through the timber. But, man, we've got a lot of planks, and we've got a lot of gears. A lot, a lot, a lot. Oh, hey. We got this all done already. Busy, busy beavers. So, okay, we want to go here. And then I want to get a platform in, like... Here, okay, so what did we do on this side? It was right at the back that we went up one, okay. So we wanna do that here. So then that means, ooh, is it gonna let me build over these stairs? Should do, there we go, yeah, cool. And boop, boop. Put in our path, put in our path. And then just do the same thing around the backside, not that high. Uh, same thing around the backside. The double high dudes here. And we can just, in theory, keep this going up and up and up and up and up and up. But the thing is, you run out of ways up as it is. You know, these poor guys that live up here, like in this one here, they'll have to go down and around and around and around. Um, you yeah, know, so it's not the most efficient way. For them to get in and out. So yeah, I don't think I want to go too terribly tall with it. Not right now, anyway. So there we go. Uh, one last bit of housing. There, 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 and there. And then what we're going to do is see how big this new monument is. Uh, he'll fit right there beautifully. Look at that. And that gives us a lovely area of effect over all of that. Beautiful. Uh, I think they'll be able to reach it just up there. Since we've got a path up here. Pretty sure they'll just be able to reach that and get it all taken care of. If not, we can build a temporary structure up for that. And I need a drink of water again. And you're like, well, Brandon, you, you haven't drank in over a week. Well, that was like 20 minutes ago for me. Actually, even less, because I took a huge drink of water in between videos. I'm just really thirsty there. Very, very thirsty. So, yeah, hopefully we can get this built. Um, we've got... We're working on these houses. 
But it doesn't look like they've started bringing anything here yet. So we might have to run just another row of stairs right here. Just so they can uh, get up there. Yeah, we might have to do that. Because I see no progress being made on that. However, we're nearly... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here they come. Oh, no, okay, yeah, they can get to it. Cool. They can get to it. Awesome. So we will have our second monument in very short order. Cool. So down here, I want to do uh, some farming. And down here, I want to do some farming. And I also want to get a couple more water storage in right there in those two gaps. So first things first, we want to go through and get rid of all of these resources. We are no longer going to employ gatherers over here. Um, it's just not the best use of our time. Uh, so that gatherer flag is unfortunately going to go away. And we're just not going to do that. Ooh, we got a drought coming. Um, I might, I don't know, we may replant some berries um, eventually. But honestly, that's not the bulk of our food. We've got a ton of grilled potatoes. I'd like to get some wheat growing back here so that we can use some of this space to, to start grinding uh, stuff up and actually producing flour so that we can have bakeries and baked goods and that'll be yummy fun. So, are you guys starting to get stuff yet? No. But your trees still aren't... Where are you? Yeah, so you've got nothing to do. You're just out chilling. You're carrying wood around for people, basically. Yeah, he's just helping out with other people's jobs for now because he has nothing to do. Um, transport goods between warehouses on idle. Yep. Um... So they just have nothing to do yet, but their trees aren't fully grown yet. So I think that... Well, this guy has a fully grown tree. Where are you? Oh, my God. You're doing the same thing. You're transporting logs. But you do have, I think, a fully grown tree, right? Actually, you've got... Oh, never mind. That is not fully grown. That is nowhere near fully grown. Okay. So we're going to need to get that all grown up over there. There's so many icons back there. It's just hard to keep track of what's happening. So that is, wow, already three quarters of the way done for our flame of progress. And I really hope a big flame just shoots out of the top of that. Because that look so freaking cool. It really will. Man, this drought's really going to hurt. Um, I'm almost wondering, since our water is so low over here should i raise these like up to like here and just hold that back would that help honey i wonder oh look at it rise that's quick um maybe okay so that's even that would cause it to float over the top. That would, yeah, right there at two meters, I think, is where we would want it to be to not flood. Thing is, now we have no movement in the water because it's just kind of slowly backfilling. And we won't regain that movement until it starts spilling over the top consistently. But I would just like to have this all deeper than it was. It's just so shallow. Like it'll take, it would take forever for this to fill. In fact, since we've got a uh, drought coming, I want to go ahead and cap that off. And then these duders are working good. Well, since we don't currently need this over here, I wonder if I just lowered these. Well, no, because I, I'm trying to get, yeah, I'm trying to get both sides with some equilibrium and that's what I'm working on. I do like the waterfall. I just wish the water were deeper so it was rushing faster. And yeah, I gotta say, I'm a little disappointed with my water engineering expertise here. I haven't quite mastered it. I'll get it, I'll figure it out. 
and and get it down to where I know exactly what moves need to be made when. Yeah, see, this is now a lot deeper for water. We're storing a lot more, um, which means we will have these water pumps. Hopefully, eventually. Yeah, it's it's deeper all the way back to here even now. So what I can do here is open this up real quick, fill that up the rest of the way. And the water rises right up. Probably going to flood just a little bit, but that's okay. Because we can just do that, close it, whoops, back off. And then that water will just kind of run off all on its own. Uh, drought. One day. Oof. Oof. The water will stop flowing from the magical water rocks over there. I just wish I knew of a way to get it deeper here for these guys. And I guess the only way to do that would be to block that off. Why is this flooding? This should be working. That should be at a height where that can go over. Is it not? Okay, well, clearly not. Okay. So then a meter and a half, I guess, is where we want this to be. Yep. There we go. There it goes. Now it doesn't have to flood around the edges and it can flow through here. Is that get, And that gets my wheels turning. Uh, it leaves a lot of the district underwater, but I think that's going to be fine. I, I think it'll be all right. Oh my gosh, it's done. Wait, what's wrong with this house? It's but is it connected to this? Huh? Yes, it is. All of that's connected. All of those are connected. All of those are connected. Every building here. Is it this one? What do you mean it's not connected by a path? It so totally is. It says that one's not either. Also, we have a stuck beaver. Where is he? Wait, where is he? Oh, no, nothing to do in range gathering flags. I tore everything down. Oh, good. I want to get rid of that as well. Uh, what are you? You're a lumberjack flag. Um, oh, let's maybe really okay you. Uh, why is this saying that they're not connected to the district via paths? Is that just too far to reach? Uh, district center. There we go. Ah, it's too far to reach. All right, well then, let's do a thing. Let's just go ahead and we're going to... Hmm, I'm going to do this. This is kind of tricky here. Uh, let's see. We will bring a path here like this and here like this. And then we are going to do that and then that and then that and then that. And whoops, I want stairs. And then that. And then we should be able to put a triple in right there. Put a path. Whoops. Put a path right there. And that should solve your problems once all those stairs get built. And we'll have it another way up and down from there. Cool. We can build our water storage. Uh, we're just going to put in the little guys. Or should we get rid of these and put in a couple big guys? Mm-hmm. Uh, might not be the best idea to do it right before a drought, though. And, you know, because that requires to strain the actual water storage. So maybe we need to wait until after the drought. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, so in the meantime, we need to mark the rest of all of this for demolition so that we can actually start building where all these tree stumps were. I do like that apartment block. <laughs> it just it's just there. Just one four by four area. Cool. They're getting this built, so these guys should be fine soon. And we got a lot happening over here. Do you have any adult trees yet? You don't. Oh wait, no, you do have an adult tree. Yeah, you do have. Maybe we're waiting on the maple syrup to reach hundred percent. Yeah, because I do remember seeing, like, there we go. See, that one's actually got maple syrup running down its edges, and it looks incredibly yummy. Um, yeah, I don't think we really need this one here. Yeah, I just don't think we need that one there. Uh, we're going to 
do a couple things. We're going to get rid of that. We're going to get rid of that temporarily. We're going to get rid of that, and then we're going to get rid of that and that. And we're just going to replace our uh, lumberjack flags a little bit better. Like off into a corner here instead of like, because that was just blocking a tree. So, I mean, that tree was lost to us anyway. We can never get to it because they couldn't get in behind the lumberjack flag. So, there we go. That'll keep us with the same number of lumberjack flags. These houses no longer complaining about being unable to be reached from the district center. In fact, they went from being red to now just being in the yellow. So there is about a height limit when you're going up and up and up and up and up and around. So you definitely need to have, you know, a secondary way out, which I'm sure all fire marshals would agree is uh, very important. So let's do a, another doohickey there, doohickey there, and path right there. And that will give them yet another way up and down as will these stairs right here. Cool. Cool, 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 cool. Uh, so they got all this cleared for me, cool. What I wanna do here, I'm, I'm saying cool a lot tonight, I don't know why, is I wanna get in a couple of farmhouses, right? Like this. And then I want to remember where I go to plant crops, there it is. And I want to plant wheat right here. Sadly, this is all currently dead. Um, but our drought will be over in 1.9 days. So we will get some water flowing again soonish. I could get this side irrigated by letting this water through. Because this is high enough down here that it should hold a lot of that back. And then once this water's all gone, it'll also hopefully get these wheels spinning again, maybe? Yeah, I got that one spinning, getting this one spinning too, good. So at least we're, you know, producing things, getting these water pumps running again, but there, boom, it's it's gone immediately. So we can raise that back up to, what was that on? One and a half, two? It was on, I can come back here and look. Right there, yeah, it was on one and a half. So then this gate down here will hold this water in from flowing out into this area. These guys will pump up any water that's remaining here. This is a pretty long drought. You can see we are slowly losing all this water. And there's just not a lot you can do about it other than somehow get a district all the way down here to control the water from ever leaving uh, and just flood the entire map. That would be fun. I mean, beavers can swim, they'll be fine. Game's getting really laggy for me to be able to move around. I really, really, oh, oh, wait, wait, do that again. <laughs> oh, they're so cute. Uh, we have 62, 6,200. Uh, that's 12,000, we're not gonna unlock that. What else is locked still? Not much. Uh, I know I just passed something, but I'll go ahead and unlock that even though we can't build it. Everything down this way is all unlocked. I won't remember that in a few minutes, but hey. Um, at least we checked. So now what we want to do is get in uh, a way to take what will eventually be wheat, which is nothing right now until the drought ends, but what will eventually be some wheat and turn that into some flour. We also want to connect this path. I don't know why it wasn't connected. There we go. That makes more sense now. And then I want to bring that around as well. And then we can just, we'll put something in here to make this pretty or something. I don't know. Uh, in fact, we probably could do that just to uh, raise the attractiveness. Okay, so the shrubs can't fit there, but they can fit here. Look at that. We can just make this pretty for them. Yeah, that works. Cool. Uh, so they know that we're planting here, right? Yeah, they know that we're planting here. 
So then we want to go into food. We want to look at our grist mill. Grist mill is going to require some power. 60 horsepower, in fact. Um, and it can take one in about seven tenths, eight tenths of an hour uh, of wheat and turning into flour. I don't know how much wheat we grow per day. So to be safe, I'm gonna go ahead and give us two of these. So I need to come up with 120 power. How much does this one will make? 200, so not quite enough to power them both. So I guess each one's just gonna have to have their own, which is a little unfortunate. It seems like a bit of a waste. In fact, it is a waste. But what I'm wondering is, how much do you require? 200 as well. We can't make you anyways, though, because I don't have the pine resin yet. And that's kind of sad. All right. That's all right, then. Uh, and then power, we just need to connect those guys up like that. And then from there, that makes the flour. But then we need a bakery that can come in and take that and make some bread. Maybe later they can make something else, but for now, we're going to make bread. And I'm gonna try to get this in, yeah, just in an existing spot so that we're not leaving all of these little empty areas. There we go, that will all be, okay, you're, you're complaining because your recipe is wheat flour, there we go, all right. And uh, we know you don't have power, we're working on that. Oh, look. We have pine resin now because there are trees that are making pine resin in your area. Good deal. So that is what it was. We can't cut them down uh, and have them for sap at the same time. It's fine. We learned. We learned a thing. Yeah, this is getting no wind. That's awesome. Where's, oh, now it is, but they're not connected to the building yet. You are making a wheat flour. Thanks, friend. And then you, as soon as you're going in there, you are going to be making bread. But it's going to take a while. However, there is already, even though we don't have wheat there. Remember, a long time ago, we grew some wheat because I was dumb and didn't know what to do with it. Uh, so they are able to go get that wheat that was there and start working with it. Hopefully, oh, this is a drought has ended. Why are we, is it just taking that long for the, yeah, it's just taking that long for the water to get back over there again, okay. All right, gotta keep an eye on my water supplies. There we go, I'm hoping this wheat all gets irrigated. It should, like up there was like kind of our, our limit and that's why we built our housing there. Yes, that is all now irrigated. They will get that planted and we will get rocking and rolling on that. Um, let's let's build a scarecrow. I don't know what he does, but let's build one. There we go. What do you do? Your aesthetics. Cool. We can use some aesthetics and let's build a little beaver statue right there. There we go. Well, let's, let's, you know, let's doll the place up here. Let's put it in a little bench so Beaver can have a little, little sit down, a little rest. There we go. Yeah, just, just some nice decorations there. I dig it. I'm happy. All right, so let us strategically replace our water storage over here. And by that, I mean, we're going to get rid of that entire side. And then we're gonna come in with large water tanks in their place. And I'm gonna kind of do like this so that I can maximize how many I can get into that exact same footprint. There we go. So we've got, uh, this holds 30. We had two, three, four, five, six, basically. So 180. Yeah. 300 each, so 900 in the same footprint. Granted, very resource intensive because these take gears and things like that, but we have the gears in storage, so we just need to get these dudes full. 
Uh, this building is not connected. You're right, you're not connected. I can fix that for you. Same for you, friend, and for you. There we go. And the paths need that little extra bit there. But now we will get these dudes filled up, and then once they're full, well, actually, they're there now. Let's go ahead and demolish these over here that are looking pretty empty. There we go. And then we'll get a few more of these put in. Maybe we'll just keep going back along this way and open this area up for something else. I like that idea. I like that idea a lot. So, a uh, large water tank. So back to back. I could do something like this even and just... Yeah, I like the idea of them being able to get through though. Yeah. So we'll do it here. Even though I'm not too keen on it, but... There we go. And there, and there. And I just want them to be able to have that little path through. So cool. That will give us quite a bit more water storage, more than I think we'll even be able to fill up, to be honest. All right, so we have reached the side over here. Seems like it's flowing a lot better than before. Do I have this too high? So I really do need some water to flow through here. Come on. There we go. A meter, I guess, was what we can do. And then this dude down here is still sat at 1.5. Good, so he will still hold some water back for us, but still allow our water wheels to turn eventually, I hope. It's going to have to go over the top of what's currently there. But this is all looking, I think, really good. It's also looking like we've gone rather long in this particular video, so... We're going to wrap it up right here and say, until next time, I'm Brandon, reminding you to stay vainglorious.